let's continue. And I will go ahead and tweak a little bit more my settings here. One of the first things I want to do is make sure I'm formatting on save all my code because we're going to be using prettier and things like that. So this will be used for that. Then come the settings for the fonts. This is a nice font that I came across and I think would look good for our videos. Then come some settings for ESLint. So this is going to be part of the settings for this extension, ESLint. If you don't have that installed, this is what's going to drive it, these settings over here. So by default, I think you have JavaScript and JavaScript React or something, and you need to make sure to add view in there. Finally, there's also another extension that you can use if you're using VS Code called Veter. And Veter will be used for the tooling over here. It has stuff like syntax highlighting, snippets, emit support, um, linting, and error checking out of the box. But you can tweak this and make use of your own linting as we will do in a moment. Lots of things and a ton of other things coming down the road. I would call it an essential extension if you want to work on Vue in your VS Code editor. Okay, so now that we saw that I have that installed and enabled, I'm going to paste these settings over here and I'm going to get rid of the sidebar so you can see them. We have things that you probably don't need to change, like the color theme, editor, the font size and the zoom level. This is so that the videos look better. And then you have the editor stuff like formatting on save and the fonts settings. Uh, this will be important so that we can actually use ESLint to validate view. And then we configure the different reader settings over here.